ultimately, we wanted to design an experiment that was able to assess all of these methods at once on the same samples at the same time. This has been a really big complaint for the industry is that when you're doing this, oh, well, you analyzed Carl Fisher on day one, but you analyzed loss on drying at day five. The moisture changes from day to day. So how is this comparative? And that's ultimately what we wanted to eliminate. We wanted a true comparative study of samples the same day, the same time, analyzed across all five of these methods. So the goal was to analyze at least 100 samples. We ended up with 120 samples total for this experiment. And we analyzed them via all five of those moisture techniques. So Carl Fisher, which was the oven was at 100 degrees. Vacuum oven, the oven was at 40 degrees. Vacuum desiccation at room temperature, so 22 degrees Celsius. Loss on drying at high temperature at 103 degrees Celsius. And loss on drying at low temperature 80 degrees Celsius. We also wanted to run each of the methods nine times in order to get a comparison to measure the reproducibility and variance from method to method. One of the complaints we've heard in the industry is that some of these methods, you run them and your results change drastically from run to run across the same sample. So we wanted to see, are there any concerns for that? And finally, the really big part of this study was that we wanted to process a subset of the samples for cannabinoids and terpenes pre and post analysis to understand what is happening to the product when you're drying it in these manners. What decarboxylation is occurring, what terpene loss is occurring. And that's really the big overarching goal was to truly understand what was happening to the chemical makeup of these samples.